Prosecutor Godot, I didn't know you were here. Prosecutor? Have you been cheating on me with other prosecutors? Francisca, I haven't seen you in like a fucking year. I have to still do my oh, job. Oh, and that's an excuse. <laughs> it's always something with you, isn't it, Phoenix Wright? You Americans and your jobs. <laughs> How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Huh. I could ask you the exact same question. I almost fucking died, you asshole. I have uh, a very good I've reason. Been, I've been to hell. You think that that's my excuse? <laughs> but I was... I had a cold, so... Well, I had a hot in hell. <laughs> I had a hot coffee. Or 17. <laughs> I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. God. I fell off a bridge, you bitch! <laughs> The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. What the fuck? Enough. I believe I have the measure of you. You are the very <sighs> worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than the trial? Well, Francisco, you had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Yeah. Who's the wild mare, Trey? <laughs> Yo, Francisco with this man. You know that she won't, though. I know, which is, so, it hurts me, because I just... I know. Yeah. Like, you, she, Francisca can't whip cool characters. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> this is Miss Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Huh. Well, I guess I owe you one, then. But you can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Oh. Just who do you think you are? This case is my... Hey, Philly. Know your role and shut your mouth. I can't stand women like you. Jesus Ooh. Christ! Boo! This guy sucks! Yo! Damn. Boo! Yo! Like... Damn. Misogynist alert! Boo! Like, you know, up until this point, he's had, like, very casual misogyny of just, like... Hey, babe. Yeah. Hey, blah. Like, don't worry about it, girl. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, kitten. This, yeah. yeah, kitten. Yeah, and this is just like, shut your mouth, Philly. I can't stand women like you. Holy shit. What a fucking line. Godot is canceled in the year 2022. Oh, absolutely. for sure. I'm only going to say this once, Lady Von Wippenberg. <laughs> okay, that's, that's really funny. Good, okay, okay. That's really good. See, you, know, you lost that me, but then you won me back. <laughs> that almost feels kind of racist. <laughs> Wait, how is that racist? <laughs> I just, I don't know, like, you. I, I know a German joke. Karma. That's a German joke. That's a German joke. He is telling her to go back to her country, though. So. Oh. That's, what I'm kind of, that's what I'm kind of saying here. <laughs> I'm only going to say this once, Lady Von Wippenberg. Go home. Yep, see? She's she not going to do it. What the fuck? Phoenix, right? What are you hitting me for? <laughs> you deserve more cracks of the whip than that tripe. I hate you. Why? <laughs> What? You are such an asshole! <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? No! You don't realize that you've set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. What, like a... a fucking... Rube's Goldberg Rube machine? Goldberg machine? <laughs> wow, we both went to yeah, that same place. Same wavelength. There's something different about Godot today. I'm it's getting a strong of sense a of... fucking asshole! <laughs> Getting such a strong sense of something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger or is it gas? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, it was gas. Too, okay. too much, too much coffee. <laughs> Sorry, I need to use the little boy's room. <laughs> the I need to use room. The, little, the little prosecutor from hell's room. <laughs> they have one of those. Yeah. 
They started installing them in 2022. <laughs> yeah, so why didn't she show up? <clears throat> you had some important business, and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I've told you once before, but perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell <laughs> to do battle with you. I had to go back to hell. <laughs> you see, Trite, I've experienced something most have not. Death. Well, I almost did that two days ago, so, like, I don't know, dog. <laughs> Get off my back. <laughs> you died. I mean, not literally. I'm fucking standing right here. What do you believe in, like, ghosts and spirits and shit? <laughs> well... A I funny know. story about that. <laughs> of course, being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. Dog, I'm starting to believe that you really went to hell. Like, what is going on? <laughs> the meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is... What? <laughs> You're really committing to this yeah. bit. Well, let's just say modern medicine allows us all to live to a ripe old age. Even someone like me. So, you mean that mask you wear is... This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Some fucking Derek Von Zeke's ass line right there. I know. <laughs> Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Still, I keep this worn out piece of junk of a body going with regular servicing. A coffee. In hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, coffee. I'm... Still I'm surprisingly sorry, somehow more ethically sourced than most other coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but... You say you experienced death? How is that possible? What happened? Francisco, you can't just ask somebody you that. You can't just ask people why they died. <laughs> why don't you ask him? Huh? <laughs> Me? Yeah, trite. You. You should know all about it. You know when my no, I never died before. And who ended it for me? Well, Phoenix Wright, do you? I... I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how Godot was killed. It'll all become clear in due time. Isn't that right, Trite? So, at this point, we're led to believe that he did read the... Well, we know that he read the case file of the case with yes. Mia and Godot. Yes. Uh, I, I could maybe see why he wouldn't recognize him as Diego Armando, but... Uh... Wait, Godot is Diego Armando? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Spoiler, Zach! Spoiler, no. Zach! No, we fucking Zach. know. I know. I'm doing Zach, yeah. what the fuck? We literally, <laughs> we literally did a big reaction. Like, I edited it into the video last time. Don't fucking, <laughs> don't fucking come at me on that. <laughs> <laughs> but Zach, Godot, Diego Armando didn't have a honestly, fucking goggles. Honestly, I think you might just be trying to lead us astray. I don't buy it. I don't. Yeah, it's a red herring. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. you're trying. You're trying to trick us, Zach. I see, you do this all the time. <laughs> Gumpy I'm waiting the for the real Diego to show back up. Since he read the case file, doesn't mean he knows what Diego Armando looks like. Yeah, I, I think it's likely that he would maybe have a picture of. Well, he actually physically knows both Edgeworth and Mia as the lawyers in the case. But Diego technically wasn't even the lawyer, so it, it makes sense that he might not even show up in the case files. Um. <laughs> yeah. What did, I, what did I do? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Early, what did I do? <laughs> earlier, you said I've done something I can never undo. What did you mean by that exactly? 
Your earbuds, right. They're tied in such a nasty knot that you'll <laughs> never be able to undo them. You put them in your the pocket like a fool, and now they'll never <laughs> come undone. <laughs> the inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's what Sister Bikini said, too. And in no way answers my question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder, Trite, do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? Investigating? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. M missing? As leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. My F.A. is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. Huh? B but that's impossible. She came here that night and... I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are nil. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. One? Where is that? The Sacred Cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. Ah, oh, cool. Let's head on down there. Okay. This is the only place that the search party has yet to explore. So they haven't searched the cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Even if she was in there, the chances of her being found alive are slim at best. Then why no. has no one broken that lock yet? Yeah, it seems like a huge deal. Like, Which this mean, is the police. Yeah. This shouldn't be complicated. This is because the police I had to open wait. up. Because I had to wait for you to get here so I could gloat about it. So I could rub it in your fucking face. So I could be a condescending <laughs> dick about it. <laughs> Which means, trite, that you sent Maya Faye to her death. What the fuck? Now she can join me in hell, too. You fool! If that's the situation, why aren't you in there with a search party right now? There we go, Francisca. I told you, I have to gloat. Oh, you must have blinders on, my equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as we speak. Y'all, dude, it's called wire cutters, you fucker. Yeah, like, just... Just fucking wire cutter it. <laughs> Well, trite. I've played a Resident Evil game or two. Once That's again. also made by Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, a woman dies because of you. You're an asshole, dog. Once again? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all when the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Maya Faye's sister. That's right, Mia Faye. M Mia? You killed her. N no, that's not how it was. Guys, <laughs> guys, is the secret backstory about Godot that's supposed to make you think he's really cool? That he's a piss baby who's blaming me for Maya's death. Is 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 that the backstory that's supposed to make me like this guy? Maybe. Like all you said I would. <laughs> As y'all, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> he's a but, fucking turd. But Pritch, he's really good looking. He's a fucking yeah. turd. <laughs> he also wears a cool vest. Yeah, and is jacked. Got I mean, good he's hair. jacked. Good hair. I mean, he's jacked. The thing is, like, every main character male in this franchise is fucking buff as shit for no reason. They're built like Adonises. But. People are saying in the remake he might have been a little better, but. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's, hear, let's hear about this backstory. It was two years ago. Mia Fey was pursuing someone, a man, but she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally. 
Sure, Miss Faye's murderer was caught. But that won't bring her back. And it was kind of a big deal. Like, he and was like a huge dude. And neither dude. were blaming me for it, dickwad. Yeah, what? Well, no, but... You were with her at the time. You and no one else. Well, explicitly, no, I, I was, wasn't. That's why she died. I actually wasn't there at the time. I, I think you have me confused with someone else. It was your responsibility. You should have protected her. I... Did you... Do you want me to spend 24-7 next to her? <laughs> you say Mia Faye was your teacher. Well, then I'd say you've learned nothing, trite. You robbed her of her life, and now you've let her sister suffer the same fate. I... I haven't sentenced Maya to death. No. Yeah, what a fucking wild, like, sorry, what a, what a wild, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's red white, y'all, it's red white's fucking fault. Yeah, I don't like, uh, Again, she didn't, Nino. we didn't even know she was pursuing him. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. well, also yeah. a junior attorney, I'm not living with my boss. Right, right. I'm not her bodyguard. It's, I didn't know well, she was involved with that case. Well, technically... I think I think in that case we were running late or something, so you know, that's just a lesson Could to everybody. Because we showed up beyond late to the beyond office. time. I can't remember. Beyond but. time. Or Mia, but you might even Mia was there. But even Maya was there before we were, right? Yeah, we we came in the room and Maya was there over the body, and that's why she got accused of uh, the murder. Yeah. Yeah. So blame Maya. God. <laughs> Very fair. Yen Yen does point out though that. If Phoenix didn't have a friend like Larry who made the Thinker statue, then Maya wouldn't be dead because there wouldn't have been a murder wow. weapon. Oh, so let's, convince really blame, it, let's convince Godot to blame. Let's convince Godot to blame Larry. Fault. Yeah. 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 Mm. Larry once again and being then, vaguely a, an accomplice to murder. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. This, let's just get, we can find a way to blame this on Larry. Let's get. Let's get. Godot on the Larry hate train, like literally everybody else, and then <laughs> all will be right in the with the world. <laughs> Honestly, I think that he'll be a much more upstanding citizen, and will stop being xenophobic and shitting on women once he starts blaming Larry. <laughs> what is what is this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It would be a simple matter of. I'm afraid we can't do that. I'm really excited to hear what the reason is. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundation of the training hall. Any excessive force used to break the lock open would... Well, let's just say the inner temple and the sacred cavern would be a thing of the past. Yeah, but you... No. You... You, just, you could just use lock cutters? Yeah. Just use yeah. bolt cutters? I mean, come yeah, on. that's old way cutter. too much force. Honestly, cutters, us just old... even making, us just breathing in here is way too much force. So <laughs> stop breathing so hard. <laughs> Very well. Then dare I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with the key? Yeah, or a plasma <laughs> torch. Thank you. Someone else said plasma yeah, torch. They, yeah. they're, they're, we're not going to fucking throw dynamite at it, dog. <laughs> we have other tools. <laughs> Bring yeah, in the cannon. Would... Yeah, but that would be <laughs> cool. The, bring in the 19th century Civil War <laughs> era cannon. <laughs> Fuck that shit up. <laughs> sure. Just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. Don't this... worry, Godot. I'm here, and I have the power of the keyblade. <laughs> Sora oh, from Kingdom Sora. Hearts. Thanks, Thanks Sora. Sora. I knew we could count on you. Haha, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, stand back, everyone. <laughs> and then suddenly Riku shows up, and it's a whole fucking mess. It's a whole uh, just, it's a whole so fucking thing. What would Heartless look like in Ace Attorney universe? This isn't important. Uh, <laughs> Sora, you can't open that door. It's the door to darkness. You'll <laughs> let the Heartless in through this world if you open up that lock. Ah, <laughs> uh, Goofy. <Fuck> really? <laughs> Wait, 
Hold on a second. Your name's Phoenix, right? That has an X in it. Oh, you shit. must be a nobody. <laughs> no, 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 that's we, Shin Yao. We, we did this another case. Yeah, it's it's cool. <laughs> we, we already made the show, so I'm good. And Alisto Nim is dead, so like, there's no Organization 13 members here. <laughs> Unless you want to count Larry. Actually, you know what? We know there is one. His yep. name is Larry's Domain. Go kill him. <laughs> okay. So I'm, no, so I'm don't that, deserve dude. to exist. <laughs> so I go fucking merc that, dude. God damn it. Yeah, remember the part in Kingdom Hearts where Sora literally is like, You're a nobody. You don't even deserve to exist. Did you really say that? And you're like, yeah, he says something very similar that's where you're like, up. wow, Sora, that's kind of mean. Damn. Damn, Sora. <laughs> There's no keyhole. That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? Well, Godot, I think it's time for me to solve this little conundrum. God damn it. Professor Layton, this is we're getting way too many crossovers. <laughs> <laughs> Sora's just like, whoa, who are you? Now come this way, Luke. Help me solve this puzzle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The person There's who way too many locked. people in this fucking small room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. We're not supposed to meet for a few more games. God damn it. That's right. So forget about all this. It never happened. <laughs> but the people playing this game right now have completely lost the plot. So yeah. just, just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Being the controlled person who by three white lock. guys in their late twenties and early thirties <laughs> who have completely lost the plot. Yeah. The pers the person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple. The accused. What? Iris. When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cavern. They get fucking locked in there. That's pretty messed up, huh? <laughs> the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. Maya Faye was to train in there. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times, now that I think about it. She said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of the training. So, Iris, the accused, is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. Iris is the only person who can open this lock? I hope she gets here soon. Hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. So, I should be getting back to work. W what are you doing anyway? Wait, <laughs> Godot! How sure are you? How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You'd better start praying. You'd better pray that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. Edgeworth. Listen up, trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. You've said a lot, my guy. I'll never accept you. Never. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait, if you've been so hell, can so... you ask me how my father is doing? <laughs> <laughs> so did, he did he talk about me? <laughs> So should I leave or <laughs> I feel kind of feel like I walked into some heavy shit there, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> you should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. <sighs> That's what everyone says. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. I guess I'll just have to find better friends. <laughs> I have to do what I can for now. <laughs> uh, well, shit. I mean, I guess. Where I mean, what are the odds that we have to look at something else in this room, right? I mean, there is nothing Antique else dresser. here. Don't you dare open it, Phoenix Wright. What? Now I know how Maya feels when I tell her not to touch things. 
What a pity. It's full of nothing but old clothes for the acolytes. I thought we weren't opening it. I'm from the prosecutor's office. I can do anything. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, you can do anything. Except stand up oh. to a nine-year-old girl. Oh! oh. Beep, 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 beep. Come on, Phoenix. Say that out loud. I know. <laughs> Don't no, got he, her. He does not want to get that whip. Uh? I don't know. Should I? Or shouldn't I? Sounds like someone's talking to himself, but where's it coming from? <laughs> yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. <laughs> no, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Gumshi, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, my brain. This is driving me nuts. <laughs> yeah! Is something troubling you, Scruffy? P please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It was merely a simple greeting. A friendly tap on the shoulder with my whip. So, what's up, Gumshoe? Is something on your mind? Yeah. How, how did you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you wanted to wash that off or not? How did you know that, sir? Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I, uh, kind of already stuck in there. Is he trying to be clever or something? <laughs> so what's behind there, Scruffy? Huh? Uh, kind of garden-like garden. A garden? Yeah, a garden-like one. Anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep out. I'm not telling you, I'm asking you, pal. You got me? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna go in there, okay? <laughs> okay, pal. Isn't it normally the other way around? Well, see you later. Wait, but what were you going to wash? So, shall we adjourn, this to the gar adjourn to this garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course. What else would we do? I really want to know what gum she was thinking of washing off. I gotta uh, wash that man right <laughs> out of my hair. I gotta good. wash that man. Uh, Alright, let's look at the, the anchor. Oh, like this oh, the, yeah, weird the big nail thing. looking thing. Yeah. Phoenix Wright. What? And would you stop calling me by my full name like that? Was this once a prosperous port? A port? Yes, that metal hook is a mooring post for boats, you know. Oh, that? That's an anchor for one of the wires that used to hold up the bridge. I think the wire was tied to this one. I think that the wire that was tied to this one probably snapped when the bridge turned burned down. I mean, there's no way there was ever a port all the way up here. Don't get smart with me, Phoenix Wright. But I didn't say anything! <sighs> okay. Let's go to the garden. Oh, that, that sure is a garden-ass garden. Garden-looking-ass garden. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Forget about that. What's that strange <gasps> writing on the stone, stone <sighs> lantern? Ah! What are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here. Yeah, but then you walked away. Don't you know, Scruffy? A Von Karma will always show up wherever there is a clue. <laughs> And there are plenty of clues to be found here. But... <laughs> Alright. I'll talk to you in a minute, Gumshoe. I gotta look at this. Oh, great. <laughs> now someone wrote Leon. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is that? Uh-oh. You spotted it, huh, pal? 
Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. <coughs> it says Maya. No, it says Oh how? Oh yo. <laughs> yeah. And before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all our questions now, Scruffy. Without exception. Y yes, sir. <laughs> What's this little thing over here? Oh. There's a charm or something poking out from the snow. It looks pretty old. There's a leather cord tied to it, too. Apparently, it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Jonim? Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both of the victims... The ends of the cords found on both the victim and on this charm match exactly. That means that this charm definitely belonged to Miss Donim. This could be a really vital piece of evidence. Hooray! Yay, found Oh, evidence. shit. Hey, look, look at what this item is called. Oh. Huh. That's, uh, in ha. interesting. Ha. Interesting. Uh, okay. Gumshi, what do you got for us? So, how's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best scientific forensics team in the world working that place. See, there you go, Beck. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of this scientific study? Did somebody say science? <laughs> Emma. Emma. Nothing. Scientifically speaking, this place is it. Wait a minute. Gumshoe. Are you secretly Emma in disguise? <laughs> All of a sudden, gum, Gumshoe's face opens up. And... How dare you! How dare you! I'm I... way better at drawing, pal! <laughs> I built this Gumshoe robot, scientifically speaking. <laughs> Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. You think I'll let you get away with that? Uh, oh. Well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern and the surrounding areas that's not covered in snow, correct? They look kind of fishy to me. You know. Scientifically speaking. Gumshoe, wh wh why are you up on this? Fuck me. You're stealing Emma's bit. So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... It's kind of hard to say, actually. Because it's a really big word, and I don't know how to say it. Guess I better look into them myself. Okay, it's very weird that they're like, Hey, you need to examine that, because I will not tell you in dialogue. <laughs> Well, this is odd. There's no snow on the ground here. And it's an almost perfect rectangle. It couldn't have happened naturally. Yes. It appears as though someone has carefully cleared away the snow. No doubt it was you, wasn't it, Scruffy? Huh? No, it wasn't me, sir. It was already like that when my minute I got here to start the investigation. If it wasn't the police, then who did it? Oh yeah, there's something I need to tell you. Just between the three of us, okay? What is it? It's top secret. You can't tell anyone, got it? Understood. Well, when I was a kid, I got knocked out of the local wrestling contest, you see? What? I was so disappointed, I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. What? Man, I got in so much trouble when I left it on the couch. What? What? Is that it? That's it! Gah! Whoever cleared that snow away must have had a reason. What? I can't even begin to imagine what that reason could be. 
Hey guys, remember that. That's gonna be the secret that breaks this case wide open. So also, do they let children box? Like, I feel Not like that's extre- Oh, was it wrestling? Was that what he said? It was wrestling. It was wrestling. Yeah. Oh, it was okay. wrestling. Because he got knocked I mean, out. Yeah, so which is the answer is totally yes. Yes, they do let children wrestle. Okay. I was like, did <laughs> you get punched in the head as a child? That's enough problem with you. This is enough problem with you, football. Let's not do youth boxing. <laughs> um, about Maya. Oh, uh, did uh, Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is... Wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant over here. He'll have to wait, since she is the only one who can open the door to the, to the sacred cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. Ah, oh, fuck. When I spoke to him... Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down, I felt like I was drowning. Sounds pleasant. <laughs> Maya, so these letters are written in blood. Yeah, what's worse is that it's the, is it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Mr. Nim's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but... It's looking that way, pal. Hmm. Most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down? You know what? That was really bothering me, too. But I just came up with the answer. The result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder, that stone lantern was upside down. Ah, oh, you've solved it. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Miss Elise Donim wrote this le these letters herself, in her own blood. You must be joking. That's impossible. From the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind. It seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elise Donim's murder. At least, that's our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? <coughs> so, Miss Donim was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. That's what Twitter's saying, at least. Then what Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard at the main temple was... Well, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Miss Von Karma? <laughs> Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? But wait a sec. The bloody... The bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easy, easily set all that up after the murder had taken place, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quickly you forget, Phoenix Wright. Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. <sighs> I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means, no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. Uh, I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. This really, so wait, you mean he was gonna face the crime scene? Yeah, well, yeah, hide evidence basically. Uh huh. Cause wow. Because he, he doesn't want to uh, make it seem like something with Maya. 
Uh huh. If this really was the scene of the crime, I need to figure out exactly what it was Bikini actually saw. All right. Do we have enough evidence to break Bikini's psych lock? Fuck, oh. we probably have to talk to Larry again. <laughs> no! It seems you have a visitor. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Ooh, hey. this music. I was mm -hmm. not expecting this music to play. Mr. Wright. Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Godot managed... Oh, glad to see her, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth, uh, it's not I'm what it looks like. I'm standing right here. I, of course, and I, and I saw you first. I just uh, mm -hmm. was trying to be nice because she's probably in a state of uh, emotional distress right now. <laughs> oh, and I'm not. Is that it? <laughs> Edgeworth, I almost fucking died. Cut me a break. This whole situation is giving me a state of emotional shock right now. <laughs> Godot managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We've got to hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? All right. Let's hurry to the inner temple, then. I'll see you later, Wright. And by let's, I mean... Let you all do that. Wait, Edgeworth, I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, Wright. I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... Maya Faye is in a rather delicate position. Yeah, I mean, she almost it's probably could be dead. <laughs> what do you mean by a delicate position? <laughs> this, isn't a sim this isn't simply a rescue operation, Wright. It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, Edgeworth. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please, understand, right? <laughs> but it's Maya! Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... <laughs> Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Damn it. Aw, but I want to know. Oh. This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Answer other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. Okay. Wow, they really do. You can't even go towards the suspension bridge now. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Brutal. <sighs> Sister Bikini looks like she's shrunk some since the last time I saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix Wright. I did just say that out loud, didn't I? Whoops. Whoops. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, my, my. Hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> From the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome, crimson-clad prince. Hey, that's mine. Is she talking about Edgeworth? Can't have him. <laughs> It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear. It's all my fault that this has happened. Poor Iris. She was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Uh. Oh, yes. You did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. 
you two are the only ones who've said that to me. I can't shake the feeling that I just became a shill to a shrew. What? <laughs> Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? Yeah, you. You're my problem. <laughs> sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Guess it's time to break that psych lock of hers. Uh, Nick Sorbo cheered two bits, or has followed. Thank you very much. Uh, and Skep cheered two bits saying, present Edgeworth's profile to Bikini. Sure. Uh, that's not, it's this one. You must be very happy to have such a fine mentor. I'm very happy to find such a fine man, yes. <laughs> mentor? No, he's just a friend. What did you say? <laughs> oh, you naughty devil. Always the joker, aren't you? <laughs> ah, he seems like a lovely young man. Like the kind you can always count on. Yeah. It's kind of depressing how much faith she has in him. <laughs> <laughs> Again, how can you tell me this game is not queer coded? Like, <laughs> it just is. As you can't. There's right. simply no heterosexual explanation for it's, many it's more of like the... it's queer. It's queer dunked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fucking do this. Bikini. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sister Bikini. The truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Donim had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She... she was... Uh, Mystic Elise was an author. Just an author. Of picture books. To be honest... I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. S suspicions Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Donim's true identity. Oh, is it? This honey Charm. mustard sauce. Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> the <laughs> mustard sauce. <laughs> Miss Donim had this charm with she her at all times. She worked at McDonald's. This is clearly <laughs> McDonald's Szechuan sauce. <laughs> Gah! Where did you... This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. Th then... What do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Oops. Because you just told me, Fox Boy. Me this and, thing speaks me and volumes. My big sexy mouth. <laughs> this thing speaks volumes about who Miss Donim really was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Miss Donim's true identity. Uh another item, you say? I mean Is it the scroll that's now covered in mustard? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. It just, I don't know if it prove proves, you know? Uh, let's look what else we have. Um, Photo, I mean, I don't think that's anything. The weather data. The Shichishido, the staff. That's kind of like nothing, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the ball has her blood on it, but that's also kind of nothing. Yeah, we don't know if the staff and the blood have anything to do with. Hmm. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try the honey mustard. Yeah. Music stopped. Yeah. The painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. But this scroll shows the master of the curane channeling technique. The crest at the top is the sign is a sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. This crest is reserved for the master of Kirain. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fey, told me. 
Wh what? Y you mean that acolyte is Misty Fangs? Wait, did you did you not know that? Did did you not know that? Daughter? Yes. But for real, you didn't know that? Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her first daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fay's sole successor. M Mystic Misty! <laughs> oh, we got another oh, wow. five pop! Oh, wow! And we Look didn't have to present that. an autograph of Juan Carita this time. Of Juan Carita, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have to present an autograph of Juan Carita. <laughs> oh, tell us about Elise, please. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her in 17 years. That's when she disappeared. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? The Curane talisman? It's the symbol of the master of Curane. The bearer must carry it with them always until their death. And, well, you can see how that turned out. <laughs> until their uh -huh. death. So, Elise Donim was really Maya's mother? Huh. She was Misty Fay, the master of the Curane channeling technique. That's a good twist, y'all. Yeah. It is a good twist. It is a good twist. The truth comes out at last. Looks like we're finally making some headway here. I mean, it's a bummer because she dead now. You know, yeah. she had been gone for a really long time. Then yeah. she just up and dies. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a rough one, but it is a good yeah. plot twist. Yeah, and it it, feel, it made I feel bad. Mm -hmm. It made the it made the earlier parts where they like interacted because I I haven't played this case since knowing that twist mm -hmm. and so seeing them like interact earlier was very like oh this is like the only time you guys get to talk right to each other. yeah you... yeah yeah she spent more time Tell with me. pearl than she did with her own daughter unfortunately i know she doesn't really she because i think she knows who maya is but she i think doesn't so really i think she's trying to keep mm. it a secret for mm -hmm. some reason i don't remember if they reveal why they keep yeah. it a secret i'm sure it is revealed but tell me sister after 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. Wh what happened? Well. Oh, shit, uh -oh. Edgeworth, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> it, it can't be. Fridge. <laughs> An earthquake! <laughs> So much like a miles. Oh, oh my goodness. Someone check on miles. This kind of tremor might. The inner temple? The sacred cavern of the training hall. It might very well cave in. What? Maya! Mama Maya. It. It seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. Where else? But we're not allowed to go there. Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, all right? Uh, of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. You must get some first aid kits ready. And that's the last time we saw Bikini. Come on, then, Phoenix Wright. They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had uh -huh. an earthquake. <laughs> I wonder if he's all right. Oh, okay. I mean, at least Phoenix acknowledges that Miles has a phobia of earthquakes. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on. Let's go. Oh, wrong way, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Before we go there, I just really got to check out the marvelous craftsmanship <laughs> of the statue. We've got to hurry away. to the inner temple and... Right. 
Oh, what are you doing here? Hold me, I'm scared. <laughs> Eep! How could I have... How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yo! Hey, why am I the one getting whipped? Shh. She's gone. No. The defendant, Iris, she's gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. What? So, it was just now, during the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear is his fear of earthquakes. And my I should have known body. Better than... <laughs> I was gonna get way worse with that. I was like, nah, we'll just we'll just keep uh -huh. I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes and then um, I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? Do you mean the DL6 incident? DL6 incident? <laughs> Phoenix, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Can we not do this right now? <laughs> That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, they the inner temple area is a dead end, and so she, she only could have escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt underway now, and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth, have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. Then you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth, I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the inner, get to the training hall's sacred cavern now. All right, let's go. <laughs> Fortunately, the sacred cavern didn't cave in, but what we found was something none of us would have ever expected. It was a dance party. Ah! Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, this door really has a secret now. How this fucking door, man. How can there be <laughs> even more locks? What is the meaning of this? Iris. Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? No. <laughs> Pranked ya. <laughs> I put more locks on here. Got him. <laughs> Got do you me. like my psych? Do you like my lock prank? <laughs> and that, that's the moment like Edgeworth is like, oh, these look like those psycho locks, right? What are you talking? They're, they're called psycho, psycho locks. Lo Wait, 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 wait. Shut up, everybody. Do you call <laughs> this, them psycho This fucking locks? idiot. <laughs> this fucking They're moron. fucking psychlocks, dumbass. <laughs> Shut up, right? That's immaculate. Folks, that is going to do it for another week's episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. Again, if you like this, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash team. And if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash savedataTeam. Throw us a couple of bucks there. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, but until next time, court is adjourned. James, uh, obsessed with the Garu, or obsessed with Garu, I've been working on this specific art, so I hope you guys like it. This drawing took all my time, but I'm really proud of it. 
You fucking should be. This looks. This is some yeah. top tier shit, James. Holy shit. That's very good. Oh my god. Like the the Incredible. shading on their hairs. Like it's fucking bang. Yeah. Very good. Hell yeah, James. Uh, Soapy, the first one is a thinly veiled call out at someone. I wonder who. Hey, pal, are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? I mean, you only just got out of the hospital. I'm fine. A little bit of head trauma never killed anyone. What? Besides, who would continue overworking themselves if they were sick? Who are you talking to? Soapy. That's Soapy talking to Soapy. Yep. <laughs> um, Soapy, rest. Sorry to interrupt, but... Uh, um, sorry to interrupt, but, uh, why am I here? All right. After the bridge is repaired, we need to go see if West's in the sacred cavern. As the chat is in charge of the investigation, they will escort you. Is there anything I'm missing? We miss Wes! Wonderful. So, you help us? Of course. I'll do anything to help. <laughs> By the way, I'm loving the rugged, damaged clothing look. It, it radiates confidence. Listen, I just didn't have the time to go home and change, okay? Oh no, I fucked it up. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> uh, Yen, I apologize in advance, in advance, West, for the amount of Larry this has. <laughs> oh my god. Larry, tell us the truth. Stop showing us your terrible pictures. My pictures are amazing. Uh, my pictures are amazing evidence. In fact, I've been waiting 25 years to present these sketches. My testimony is I was completely defeated Edgy in checkers by quadruple jumping him. Edgy used to bite into oranges like apples because he didn't know how to peel them. <laughs> Edgy couldn't fold a crane and sobbed all day like a baby. I have all day Edgy. I have all day Edgy. It isn't clear if I have a job. <laughs> Yeah, if I have a job. Oh my god. Action. The fucking bite into oranges like apples because he didn't know how to peel them is so fucking funny to me. Oh, thank you, Yen. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Ham Ham, uh, first time poster says, hello, first post here. I'm a cute little cat Aww. and Edgeworth, or cat Phoenix and Edgeworth. Adorable. I love, I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Ham Ham. Thank you, Ham Ham. Oh, and also made this. We got a, a gumshoe cat. A little gumshoe cat. Aww. Oh. Adorable. Someone Thank you so much. Mod. Someone needs to mod Stray with gumshoe, <laughs> gumshoe cat. cat. Yeah. Uh, try church hand. Uh, this I, I saw earlier is fucking insane. Uh, so on the count of three, we'll play it together. One, two, three. Edgeworth, catch! Mr. Edgeworth. Please. You gotta buy some more time. Court is in session. I'm sorry, Your Honor. You were saying... No, seriously, I drink as a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> it's so well done. Like, yeah, the animations really well are done. so fucking clean. <laughs> Damn, and the faces really are, like, incredible. immaculate. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> it's also just, just hearing fucking... Pridge's voice coming out of Tiny Pearls is so funny to me as always, but God, it's so clean. The yeah. animations are immaculate. That's uh, incredible. Thank you, Tri Church. <laughs> Tri Church Chan. That's amazing. Thick Taco, here's a Rightworth comic I drew. I hope you like it. Edit, think of the kittens. <laughs> Edgeworth? Phoenix, what's wrong? Do you have anything I can use as a cat toy? I wanted to get a cat for the office. But now the cat won't stop loafing on the evidence. Got it. Hold on. Francisco, can I borrow your whip? Why do you need it? Is it your boyfriend? Actually, yes. He, whatever. I don't need to know that. Just shut up and take it. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, Incredible. I assume, I assume he it. uses the whip as like the, the cat toy little, thing. The little fishy paw is my uh -huh. favorite cat toy. It is top tier cat toy for sure. Rose with some pearls doodles. <laughs> These are adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I like those. Thank you, Wait. Rose. 
Uh, Herlock Gnomes, uh, I found a song that reminded me of Dahlia, Burning Pile by Mother Mother, and started to make an animatic-ish thing for it. Unfortunately, I don't have the full version of my animation software, so I sang it myself, and there isn't any backing instrumentals. Decided to post it. Oh, hey, if we've learned one thing, Herlock Gnomes has the voice. So here we go. One, two, a three. My star, love my gray, so I tried to save my face. Yo! Oh yeah! It's Again, no, it's your your singing voice is very awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, and the eye animation it. is great. Heck yeah, no. Nixu, uh, I was playing an RPG game and my brain went, "What if Phoenix Wright and Co have powers? And what if the world ended?" And boom, fantasy apocalypse at you. First pick is a sketch of Phoenix's profile. Oh heck yeah! With the with the cool ass uh, psych abilities and shit. That's nice. fucking dope. That's really dope. Uh, oh shit, in the colored in version. Oh my, oh damn, this is fucking really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, infamously Dorky, their first case together, 19, 1977. <laughs> uh, the the best, the dynamic duo right there. Uh huh, uh huh. Hey, yo, Freddo! Freddy! Yo, chicken Alfredo! Fredman! Manny called Carmi! Detective! There is a dead body. Have some decorum. And cease the idiotic super cats. If you must, stick to one. Okie dokie. Manny con carmi. Just. Just Manny will do. <laughs> oh, God. I love the way you put these two characters together. Amazing. Love it. Tom Tanks. Remember when Gan fired Gumshoe and got a part time job? Oh, my God. Your order, sir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had Canon, Maggie, and Gumshoe probably met during this period, and that's why Gumshoe's so caring towards her, because customer service jobs fucking sucks. <laughs> Hell yeah, I will agree with you on I that. I love one. that. <laughs> but this Yo, is super cute. Real talk, though, Gumshoe looks great in a made outfit. Oh, he's crushing it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Beb, not going to be done with the modern Brits this week, so here I have some doodles with... Uh, glitter pen that I set up for CSP. Yo, glitter pens. Ooh, y'all remember we glitter love a pens? Good glitter pen. I fucking love glitter pen. <laughs> the Godot one's really fucking cool. Yeah, with the red like the little red eyes. slashes in the center. Yeah, yeah this is fucking awesome. Uh, Chrono Wizard. Here's the first part of my art dump for this case. And to explain the last one, Zach said I would draw Pridge stealing Wes's heart one time. So there you go. <laughs> hmm. Can I pocket this? Mr. Nim, I've bought all of your books. You can read pearls? <laughs> Why, thank you, dearie. It's all thanks to the power of subliminal messages, young one. <laughs> 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 That's really good. Uh... Oh, no, am I Kamoshida? <laughs> yes, I think that is. Ooh, that's, I that's rough. <laughs> I know, that's terrible. Why? How could you do this to me, Crota Wizard? <laughs> I've come to steal your crown jewels. I'm, I mean, treasure, Wes. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Now I have the ability yeah. to do this. Uh-oh. Wes is busting out a voice, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Come and take it then, Pridgedom Thieves. That's really good. <laughs> For real? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Wes, yeah. that was. ever since I finished Persona, I've been meaning to ask, who who do you think your Persona would be? Ooh. I mean, they're all literary slash mythological characters. Oh. You mean like... Uh... Out of the main personas, or just like any persona? Ever? No, so, like if you if you had a personal persona. Oh. <sighs> Fucking Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> come forth, Pooh. <laughs> it never seemed coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. Pretty fucking powerful. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Oh, Bob. Oh, he has, he has, he has a, he has a new type of, he has a new element. It's the honey element. Oh, he... <laughs> yeah. His personal skill. Mm. Oh, bother. <laughs> Get stuck in in uh, Rabbit's house. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he causes the sticky status ailment. Oh, God. King Kieran, sorry I'm having only one art tonight because I'm still tired from finals. King Kieran, never apologize for that. Uh, but have Maya taking key components. Never apologize for anything. Yeah. Uh, Maya taking key components and designs and elements from a set of the Isomnium files. Oh, yeah. A set, you bet. <laughs> I love the fucking love Mr. Monkey fanny pack. That is a power fucking move. It's uh -huh. really good. <laughs> that was a stupid oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, did you alter it from before? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Incredible. Oh, my God. This is this was fucking Larry. Altered Bud. version of the fucking birdly. Edgy. I think it's time I got serious with you, dude. Oh, my God. 100%. <laughs> what is it? Gooya? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn. Also, the fact that we have Sister Bikini's serious face yeah. is part yeah. of the reaction shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Larry full cowling. Yes, Colonel Wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. 